Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We're starting now to count down uh, to Christmas. It's December the... 3rd? Or 4th? I think it's December the 4th. Um, but anyway, we're counting down to Christmas and this is a period in time in which I love doing videos. I don't know why because I mean there's less videos around this time but they just seem really really awesome. <laughs> I, I enjoy doing them and um, yeah, gonna have some great fun unboxing some products. I know for definite there's gonna be some product unboxings and quite a bit of stuff to do with up in the studio as well. I'm gonna really get the ball rolling with the studio next year. Uh, 2012 will be the year for me sorting out my studio, getting a proper setup up there. Um, to enable me to record, which was what it was already originally intended for, but I never, I, I just set my instruments up there and just used it as a basically a practice room. Um, but we're really going to get that sorted. There'll be some unboxing of some hardware when it comes to things like that. But anyway, this video is to do with my dual screen setup because I haven't shown you the setup since I unboxed my second Dell 2009 W monitor. Please go and check that video out if you haven't seen it. Um, today I'm just going to show you the dual screen setup, how it's looking. This is temporary-ish. Um, it's a permanent desk setup in the sense that it's going to be set up like this for a long time, um, meaning a couple of months, and it already has been set up like this for a few weeks. Um, but it's not permanent in the sense that I, I have future plans for it, and my plans aren't even finalised for it. Um, mainly to do with cable management and a little bit more eye candy around the desk just to make it look a bit more appealing. But anyway, let me uh, show you the desk now and show you what's going on. Okay, so this is my desk at the moment, um, which I'm really happy with uh, working on. I've got the screens set perfectly so that when I sit at the appropriate place in on at the desk, sorry. The screens are perfectly centered for me. I've told you about this before. I like having one there and one there to give me one big workflow. I don't like having a main screen and then a secondary screen. That's not how I work. But anyway, I'm not gonna give you a tour of the desk. I'm just gonna pan around. You can see the Mac Pro is now up here, which I love. It's fantastic. It gives a proper cutoff between this, this part of the desk and this part of the desk. So as you can see on this part of the desk at the moment, I've got my MacBook Pro there. Um, Finished college assignment, yes, this took me ages, 2,000 words, but finally done. But anyway, um, nothing to do with this video. You can see I've got my sort of workspace there, which is looking quite full, to tell you the truth. Um, but, you know, it's there. You, you, I shoot videos there sometimes. You, you've, you guys have seen that. I did the PSP video there. For smaller things, it's pretty good. But anyway, you can that, that needs a, a redesign. You know, I need to clean Larry out and whatnot. It really does. It's, it's lacking a bit, as you can see. Um, it doesn't look the best at all. You know, stuff is sticking out everywhere I mean this is just fish food but anyway this part um, I've worked on quite a lot you can see I've got a nice stereo spread as far as the speakers go um, I wouldn't mind them a little bit higher up if that was possible in any way but it isn't really um, that's one drawback to this setup um, it's always been a drawback to this setup I haven't been able to have them high enough and uh, with when I had the cabinets on my desk they were they were too high so uh, you know I'm pleased with them like this, and there's an angle to the speakers, so they fire the sound up anyway in general, so that's that's pretty good. And um, the other downfall is my eyesight webcam. Um, now, I have had audio chats with this, and it does look okay, but I have to sort of look at this screen, um, and then it's still a little bit side of my head, but if I, you know, look at both the screens, it's totally the side of my head. But I guess all I would have to do is move my external hard drives over a bit and you know but it's not really my main priority I very rarely use the eyesight camera and uh, but when I do it's great it's a lovely camera but you can see this setup here very clean lots of space loads and loads of space plenty of space to put food if I'm eating food when I'm working and um, things like you know I'm doing this video editing project at the moment for this event like I've been uh, telling you like, here's the program of events for me to follow, and that can just sit there nicely while I'm working on Final Cut, just so I know what I'm doing, so that's fantastic. It's just a nice area on the desk, and as well, if I ever need to copy anything up from paper, that, 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 that's enough room for A4 sitting there, and um, 
being able to copy. And it's nice to have space. That's one thing I didn't have with my old setup with the cabinets and the G5 and the MacBook, is I didn't have any space, you know. This is a very open setup, as you can see, very tall and just very nice and spacious. And um, nice little section over here. Um, great camcorder access, you can see I've got the power cable for the camcorder plugged in right there and of course I can charge the camcorder battery there and uh, you know, coasters either side just really nice setup, I like it a lot as far as the monitors themselves go then, my actual desktop setup primarily web browser there, if I'm ever chatting um, iChats or whatever, I tend to list the iChat windows here or there and you can see on this display I always have mail, twitter and iTunes. I haven't yet finalized my dashboard. You can see that one's blank, but that one's got all my stuff. Um, I want to utilize the dashboard now that I have two monitors. So um, that's one thing that I'm planning on doing is um, sorting those displays out, like as far as the dashboard goes. You can see I have that space. And then my second space, my last space, is my workflow. So if I'm working in Final Cut or working in Photoshop, I have it here. Now I have um, I've played around with a few different ways of having Final Cut and this is a great way to have it especially if you've got lots and lots of video tracks and audio tracks as the lighting changes <laughs> um, it's fantastic to see them here on the timeline and um, you can actually like when when I used to have the timeline down the bottom like this I used to have my tracks very 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 small but now I can have them bigger so I can see fades slightly easier so that's absolutely fantastic there isn't a lot of uh, different video layers in this particular project but you can see there's me <laughs> and uh, there's a camera that I'm filming this on now actually that's uh, that's quite funny but anyway um, yeah you can see it's a brilliant workflow um, the browser the browser I can cope with like that it's pretty good very long but um, it is, it is good and it does work. So that's my workflow. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it as far as the entire setup goes. So this has been a basic little video um, showing you the setup. You can see it's very clean. Future plans include uh, sorting out the cabling and adding a lot more lighting to this setup just to make it cool. I'm planning on adding LED strips along the back of the desk, along the back here, just to make a big area of light and uh, oop, something that I seem to have ignored in this whole setup which can't be forgotten is my gaming PC which is still sitting there really nicely on its little shelf so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you like the setup I think it looks pretty cool um, I'd like to hear your feedback I'd like to hear if you like it or not and um, yeah as far as dual screens go so much more productive and um, it does bring back memories as far as the MacBook goes when I dual screen that but anyway I'm ranting on now this, this is the end it's time for me to go yet again. I'll try and get another video up as quick as I can, but hopefully you guys are enjoying watching over the old videos. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.